Okay, hello again. <laughs> now you know uh, what uh, ProClub will be doing for the next two weeks. Uh, cool stuff, right? Just finished and, uh, well, I want to share this <laughs> uh, with you. So, today, uh, it will be a little bit shorter, shorter talk uh, than usual because we have a uh, customer coming right after the talk and uh, we'll be shooting some cool thing. Hopefully, I'll be able to get online uh, with some either YouTube or uh, Facebook live. Uh, maybe, not sure. Anyway, today I want to show you some magic. That's really, I remember last time uh, how cool it was uh, when I was showing the uh, view camera when the focus and plane can be changed uh, all kind of crazy ways, especially for not experienced photographer, it was cool uh, based on the feedback. Today I'll be showing you even cooler thing. <laughs> it's really magic. Polarized light with polarized filter, okay? Uh, we did some, uh, already did some research on this. Uh, there are a few tutorials on ProClub, on 40G ProClub. Uh, if you don't know what ProClub is, uh, this is our uh, interactive school, basically. Uh, we do, like every month, every three weeks, uh, we do uh, the assignment with the tutorial and then I critique everything. And uh, basically, uh, well, you understand what is going on, right? Uh, this is the practical way to learn uh, photography, probably the fastest way and probably the least expensive way if you compare it to any type of college or school. So, uh, we did it on Pro Club, but today I want to show you, uh, you know, in real time. Okay, let me switch to uh, chat. Okay, so many people, um, hello Thomas, hello Hazem, uh, Maya, uh, Prokofiev photo, привет. <laughs> uh, okay, awesome, glad to see all of you guys. So, what the polarizer is? You know, probably you know what the circular polarizer filter is, right? Uh, I have it on the lens already. I can probably get it out from there. And the idea is that there are two glasses that can be rotated uh, on different directions, and it can cut. Uh, well, you can choose uh, the angle that it will cut uh, the, well, it will, mm, I don't want to talk about theory. Basically, it let uh, run only uh, light and specific polarization, right, and uh, specific direction. And it's cool, it works really well, um, you know, to make sky darker, for example, or uh, colors to bring more vivid colors when you're shooting uh, landscaping. Cool thing. but. On the real life, uh, there is not much polarized light uh, coming from, I mean, from in, in reality. Uh, it's maybe a water surface, you know, the surface of the lake. Uh, usually it's slightly polarized, so the filter can make the water, for example, uh, instead of uh, reflecting the sky, it can turn it into, well, just water that's almost transparent. You can see the, what is under the water using this. But still, there are, most of the light in real world, it's not polarized. So this helps, but not much. In the studio, where we have the completely controlled environment, what kind of light it is, if this filter will be used with the light that is polarized, completely polarized, this is where magic can happen. And I don't want to talk too much about theory. I'm actually not good at this, uh, but I can tell you that any polarization will be ruined uh, if the light gets reflected from not glossy surface. If it's matte, polarization will be gone. If it's glossy, it will stay. It will change the angle of polarization. Sorry, probably it's pronounced a little bit different, but anyway. It will change the angle, but still keep the direction of that light. If it's matte, it's gonna kill it. This is the, where the magic happens, okay? So, let's do this. Let's do the demo. Let's do a demo and then you'll shoot questions, okay? If you shoot questions, if you have. Uh, let me show you the lighting setup a little bit. Uh, okay, put the filter back. Camera, table. Uh, let's switch maybe to that one, to, to that second camera. Number two, no, it's there. Okay, okay, so 
again, wine, sorry guys, we have so many <laughs> bottles of wine all around, so I'm going to use it. Uh, since wine has, a bottle of wine uh, has glossy surface and matte surface. Matte surface, it's usually labeled. Glossy, it's a glass, okay? And what I'll be doing here, let me disassemble the whole thing, so you know what is going on. And this is what is going on. This is what I have. The polarized film, the polarizer, okay? Uh, there are two types of films they sell. They sell linear, linear polarizer and uh, circular. Go do research if you don't want what's the difference. Uh, but I can tell you that this is circular polari polarizer. Non-expensive though, I think it's a piece like this, maybe cost like $15 or so. so not a big deal. Uh, this is the filter holder from Smith Victor, okay? Pretty cool thing. What it does, it can, you can mount this holder in front of the light just using the same stand. So it sits here and then you put light here. Cool thing, okay? Uh, this is what I'm going to do. This is regular light, just brown color pulse ahead. Uh, with the honeycomb grid, okay? This is 20 degree honeycomb grid, just to make sure that light won't spill too much. I need to, uh, everything go through the filter. Okay. And let's highlight this bottle. Okay. So I'm placing it somewhere here, right in front of the bottle. Well, not in front, a little bit on the side. So it hit in the bottle. And the live view is here. Uh, let's switch to, yep, to this one. Let me help you to, uh, yes, uh, you know, let me do this. One second, guys. Okay. Yep, exactly. Uh, even better this one. And then switch the camera to number one. Okay. So. You see the live view, one window, okay? Hello there. This is what camera sees. This is your, uh, wait a minute, left bottom corner, or right for you. On top, you see the capture one screen that the camera is connected to. So every click will be there. And it should be enough for us. So let's see what is going on. There are many lights in the studio, okay? Lots of lights which you will see on the, uh, reflected on the bottle. But there is one light, look at it. You see the light that only reacts when I move my palm in front of this. This is the reflection from, uh, the, uh, from our strobe light. And this is what only will affect the image. So if I click and shoot, this is what we will see. This is the image that you will get just placing the light without any filter. Normally, right? We have some highlight on the label and uh, we see large reflection on the bottle. Here and here, quite serious one. Now let's turn on the magic. <laughs> turn, really turn it. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, and you will see the result. I'm going to rotate polarized filter and see what is going on with this this one, you see? One light is start blinking. I'm just rotating the lens back and forth, the filter. So I'm going to rotate it till it's gone. Okay? And do a shot. Voila. This is what I call a magic. Okay? The label is visible because it's matte. So polarized light lost all the polarization and you just see it. Actually, it's a little bit dimmed, but still. But almost there is nothing here. A little bit, you see, there is a little bit. If you lower the light, I mean, lower the power, probably we don't need that much. And maybe I can rotate it. Let's see if I can kill it completely. Just let me see. Will we see now? Probably it should be nothing. Okay, so. 
This way you can highlight only the label, only, well, anything that is met will be highlighted and no glossy reflection. This is the beauty of using polarized light in the studio. Now imagine that if you can use few lights, polarized lights, and I can rotate not only the filter, I can actually rotate, well, maybe not easy on this particular frame, but I can rotate the film, polarized, polarized <coughs> this film, independently on different lights, to get all kind of different effects. And well, this is what we do at 40G Pro Club. So if you don't, if you're not there yet, join, really. If you're looking for fastest way to learn uh, the product photography really deep. I mean, this is coolest stuff you can ever find. And let me show you something more. Uh, with wine, it's probably easy. I mean, you've seen on the previous uh, lesson, right, when uh, we've been doing wine, it, you can highlight a label without uh, actually having the reflection, just changing the angle where you position your light. It's not a problem. It's probably not where you really need to use uh, the polarized light when you shoot a wine. Let me show you other cool things. Jewelry, a little bit of jewelry. You like it? I know, I know. You should like it. So. Uh, there is a watch, little cool watch, uh, which will represent our jewelry. And I'm going to clean it a little bit. One thing, guys, that you need to <laughs> that you need to clean your glossy things if you're going to use it with. Uh, well, you need to clean it anyway, but. Remember about matte things uh, and polarization. If you're going to use polarized light, make sure that the glossy surface are cleaned because any dust, anything on it will actually change polarization or kill it. Uh, so it's not really good. Questions? We have questions? No? Okay. So let me jump and uh, talk before we switch to the jewelry a little bit. Uh, we don't need to see this. Let's switch to the first screen. Yeah. Because when I read, uh-huh, awesome. Thank you. So, uh, let's see, hello, hello. Uh, can I go to 4 digitcom and see what Alex has to offer? Yes, you can go. Thank you, Kurt, exactly. This is uh, 4TG.com, guys, come on, this is, you can read, right? We do it on a regular basis in Pro Club, and uh, we have uh, tons of courses there. Uh, so. So can't you diffuse it, Ori is saying. Ori, you can diffuse it. You can uh, diffuse it. Here we go. Cool question, Ori. This is a diffuser for the polarized light. Actually, this is a secret thing. This is only for Pro Club, but come on, guys, I love you. So here it is for you. Uh, this is just a regular frame. Of course, do it yourself thing. Uh, this is a frame for picture. It's metal, this is why I bought it, so I can clamp it. Uh, on one side, well, this is glass. Then inside, it comes the um, savage plastic, the diffuser, the diffusion material. Savage plastic, translum savage plastic. And the third layer on this side is polarized film. So you put light from here, it gets diffused, and then it comes polarized from this side, because the last layer is a polarizer. And then you can do whatever you want. You can build larger one if you need, right? Uh, this is smallest one, so for you know, education purposes, for jewelry, this is coolest thing. Okay, so this is $10,000 secret I just told you, okay? Uh, now, let's jump to some jewelry. I'm going to place this little thing. Uh, on in front of the camera. Of course, I need to get closer. Uh, let's try to switch. Uh, I want to see, yeah, what do we see? Uh-huh. Okay, cool, yeah. Uh, so, guys, you will see what is going on from top. Just a little bit. I am getting closer with my camera to this nice watch. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, let's switch to then to the first camera. Yep, number one. Okay, so you see how it, you know the lighting setup, just in case. And you're gonna see what the watch is uh, on the live view, so you understand the shape and you know the beauty of the solution. Okay. So. Uh, let's rotate it somehow. Hmm? Yeah, it's okay. You don't. It's, it's not needed right now. I need to position it first uh, the way that I want. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, you know, let's uh, switch. So you're saying that this is not working? No, this this one. Okay, this is cool. Okay, now let me switch from this to the live view. So you see uh, through the live view, the watch is a ball. It's it's really it's a glass ball with the watch inside. So both sides of uh, that ball is completely glass and the middle of that ball uh, has the mechanics and all this stuff. Okay, so it's completely curved. It's, it's really, it's a glass ball. This is why you see it's a little bit crazy because it's like a lens. And uh, let me position the light. So one light, sharp light, right? It will be very sharp light that we positioning in front of our subject. Okay, uh, make sure, I need to make sure that all the lights, well, all the light will come through the polarizer. If we have somewhere the spill without, it's not gonna end well. Okay, so, okay, let's start running. Don't run from me yet. Okay, so that kind of angle. Do you see this? Let me show you. Okay, this is our light. Okay, and if you shoot it this way, let me do like this. If you shoot it this way, we see, what do we see? We see the internals of the watch, right? But we see, because it's bald, glass ball, the reflection. And it's cool. Both surfaces basically glossy. The internals, at least metal inside, and the, the external, the glass, both are glossy. But because the light goes through the glass and gets reflected from the metal, different uh, surface, it will change the angle of polarization. So it may be possible for us to hide one reflection and still have another one, even though both may be polarized. But because the angle of polarization is different, you understand that you can play it with the filter. So if I rotate the filter the way that it's going to be hiding the reflection on the glass, we can have something like this. Again, this is a simple example, but this is a true magic. I'm not saying this is the best picture of watch I ever took. Okay, let's add some reflector. By the way, just a little reflector. Let's switch to this camera a little bit. Maybe it will help. Yeah, number two. Awesome. Make sure that it's over there. Guys, going to show you a little bit close up of what is going on. Oh, uh -huh. somebody's. Okay, so we have a paper reflector, right? And the light from that reflector, actually I can increase power of the main light, even though it's polarized, but it loses polarization. So this part of the watch gets highlighted immediately. Okay, so let's switch to the camera. Okay, so you see what happens? This is the magic. <laughs> And what I can tell you that I'm going to run a webinar. I'm going to get a jewelry and other beautiful things 
that can get uh, the most from using this technique, the polarized light. And it will be a live webinar in next 30 days. It will be announced, so watch for this. Uh, where you will watch me doing this, uh, like you do now. Uh, you can ask all the questions, but I'm going to show you the real hardcore of this, where you really can use the polarized light in jewelry, in uh, product photography, probably some small product photography, because it's you know, the light source size is limited, right? I'm not going to use large softbox because you can have this large polarizer, but for little thing, it can be really beautiful. Okay, so watch for it. Uh, you have questions? No? Okay, I'm gonna run it, let me do this. Let me uh, tune up a little bit, tune up our image, because I may want to post it, so I want to get something relatively good. Okay, yes, maybe like this, nice, nice. And actually, I can back up a little bit. So we don't need to get that close. Okay. So again, this is with polarized, this is without. This is what we'll be getting with just a normal light. And the difference is huge, right? Okay, now uh, let's jump to questions. Uh, this is the last shot. <clears throat> uh, hi, uh, hi, Yannick, Sergeyev. Uh, it's all about polarized uh, light that can be used in product photography. Uh, you probably missed some part of it, but uh, you've seen it. So uh, do reflection, uh, let me, now guys, we run in question and answer thread and uh, we have probably uh, 10, maybe 15 more minutes and we'll done, okay? Again, if you don't want to miss our broadcasts, which happens every Friday, 1 p.m. Pacific time, subscribe to 40G channel. Once you subscribe, you will get a notification uh, I think by default it's on, on your phone or whatever, when we go live. So it's very easy even from the device uh, to join us and uh, see everything, okay? Uh, so, and if you share this video, my thank you for you. Uh, do reflectors change the polarized light direction? Yes, reflectors, reflectors. Uh, any reflection will change the direction of polar polarized light, any reflection. If it's matte, like, we had the paper, the cardboard there, it will kill polarization. But if I put, let's say, a mirror, yes, it will keep polarization, but it will change direction. Any reflection will change direction. And that's what happens with jewelry, Ori. This is what happens with jewelry, because on jewelry there is external reflections and internal reflections from, let's say, gemstone. And you can kind of selectively show different things, okay? Uh, using polarized light. Uh, another question, Alex, did you ever try to photograph cheap plastic? It gets really cool colors under polarized light. Yeah, I've seen it. I never uh, photographed, I mean, I, I was getting it as a, some bad outcome sometimes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've seen. Uh, actually, there are many physical cool experiments, I would say, uh, that can be conducted uh, with some polarized light, especially for kids where it, you know, show colors on, for example, uh, if tension happens, if you get uh, plastic uh, anything, shoot it with polarized light, it may be a little bit colors. Then you start bending it, if it's sort of, uh, you know, the uh, stiff, the colors will start appearing because it changed polarization uh, where the force is applied. It's cool stuff. It's really cool stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, Alex, what's the largest uh, size sheets uh, of polarizer available and where to go and do you source? it from. I buy it online. Uh, if you search, uh, it's the website, for example, polarization, something, I forgot. Anyway, I just Google it. Polarized shit. <laughs> shit. I don't know how to pronounce it right, but you got what I'm saying? It's a shit or shit? How you say it right? <laughs> shit. Shit. Ah, come on, guys. It's beautiful language. Beautiful language. <clears throat> so, you just search it online, and uh, because I mean, not in every country it's available, the same sources, right? 
And the size, I think you can get relatively large, but one, I mean, larger size, more expensive, dramatically more expensive. For example, this piece, and there are different actually quality as well. Uh, this piece, you see, I already cut it a little bit. I think it was somewhere between like maybe $25, $30. So it's, it's okay. I mean, it's doable. It's, it's not a brown color. <laughs> okay. Uh, Прокофьев. Алекс, скажите, при использовании в одной световой схеме рассеиватель Savage Translum на Frostrame и, допустим, ваш рассеиватель с желтой окантовкой, будет ли разная цветовая температура у них? Окей, okay, so the question is, uh, will be different uh, color temperature if we're gonna use, uh, let's say, the Savage plastic uh, and, uh, let's say, Westcott diffuser, West, Westcott diffuser, uh, where, which use silk. It's not supposed to be different color temperature, but it might be. Uh, let me think. I didn't see much difference when I was shooting using both, you know, the Savage plastic and uh, the silk. But I think it might be maybe just a little bit. So I would say it's possible to mix them. Uh, and it's easy. I mean, if, if it will be like uh, within 100K, Kelvin color temperature, the difference within 100, uh, you won't see much difference. If it will be more than 500, you will see, but, well, more than 100. Uh, but I didn't see it, okay? So it should be okay to mix them. Uh, okay, uh, another question. Can we use polarizer to prevent hard light from metal, especially in jewelry? Of course. That's what I'm going to, sh uh, to tell and show on the webinar for polarized light that will happen. And actually, it will be a course after that. So, uh, well, the course will be based on the webinar. It's tricky, you know, when you start shooting jewelry with polarized light, first you see, oh, you know, it's like a solution for all the, pro, uh, for all the issues and it will kind of help. But unfortunately not. And I can give you a hint why uh, it may be a problem. Because when there are curved surfaces, like spherical, all kind of things that you can find in jewelry. The angle that light is reflected is different. And different angle may change polarization a little bit, may change uh, angle of polarized light, you know, the polarization. And it starts getting nasty. <laughs> but uh, there are techniques uh, to, to kind of make it work. Uh, just, you know, I can't show you right now, because again, it's in 20 minutes, uh, the client will come, I need to shoot as fast as possible, okay? <laughs> I worry. <laughs> okay, yep, thank you, Salim. Uh, so for a couple hundred bucks, you could build a large polarized diffuser. Can you show the biggest you use in the studio? This is the biggest I use in the studio, okay? Because I need it only for small glossy items or I need it only to hide spot sources. For example, I can use this diffuser to highlight the half of the studio. Just, you know, sharp, I mean, the serious light through it. Uh, there is brown color box light, if you know what it is. Uh, similar size, it's, it sits over there. A uh, little soft box, very powerful, 1600 watt second. Lots of brightness. I can put it here and do whatever I want. So, it's enough for me. I don't need the size. I don't need the size. I can always, you know, work it out. Uh, but of course, it's, you can build whatever you want. Okay. Um, yes, exactly. It's all about uh, relationship between quality and uh, price for this. Uh, Yannick, I, I didn't get... Ah, okay, okay. Here is a question. Uh, we are shooting the alcohol uh, products, uh, bottles. And is there a reason to create universal setup for this or better uh, split products to groups and shoot them separately? Oh, you, you, okay, so Yannick, you, you're talking about uh, like a setup for a particular type of, well, the shape and whatever of products. And uh, well, it's, you, you're talking more about workflow, and I, I don't think I can uh, really answer this question because you, you, you know better, you know, how, how much you should, how much it takes you to change the lighting in terms of, you know, for the product. I don't do mass shooting. 
I, I went away from this. So I always, you know, my thing is just a few items anyway. Uh, so I never build any universal setups. I, I'm not interested in universal uh, because it just, not, I don't need it. Uh, but I mean, I don't think it's, I mean, you, you need to decide, okay? Uh, there's not a really question, I mean, answer for you. Uh, how I would do, I, I would try both things and see what will be faster. What will, be, what will work faster for us, uh, where we can get better quality, uh, spending less time. Okay, here we go. Uh, does it reduce uh, sharpness? Can you please open the door, uh, Lira? We have, actually, this is a cool startup. Uh, the company that makes uh, awesome clocks, it's an uh, intelligent clock that can talk to you, and we'll be, sh we'll be shooting them for them. So, guys, uh, it's done. It's done. Thank you for uh, joining. Uh, next Friday, 1 p.m., you know where to find 40G channel, right? It's on YouTube, so subscribe to 40G channel. Uh, you get a notification, but you can always tune up and uh, look for any social media. Uh, this is where you uh, get notification as well, okay? Uh, Friday, 1 p.m. One thing before I uh, leave, uh, can you please share the screen uh, where this, uh, yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. Guys, a few days left uh, for sale for this course, okay? Uh, there is a course where I'm sure how to shoot glass, all that kind of stuff, without polarizer, but uh, with very simple equipment, okay? And all this. It's a course that is on sale, 25% off, uh, and uh, it ends, I think, in two or three days. So if you want to learn uh, all this stuff, you know, black, glass on black, tricky actually, glass on white, Tricky too, more tricky. Uh, it's all here, and uh, there is a good deal for this, so don't miss it. Okay, uh, let's switch back. And uh, I'm saying goodbye, goodbye. Different bottle shape, different, different surface. Yes, exactly. What about basic club? Uh, Thomas, so last questions. Uh, basic club only accessible through Pro Club, okay? This is how it is, basics, it's basically for pro club uh, if uh, they want to learn basics, okay? So, awesome. Uh, guys, have a great weekend. Uh, talk to you in one week, Friday, 1 p.m. And uh, goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel again already. Bye.